Hi everyone, I'm Carlos and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use Mural. Mural is a remote visual collaboration tool that you can use with your colleagues at work uh, to be able to collaborate better remotely. You can also use it for online workshops to be able to collaborate uh, visually with some attendees from that workshop as well. So let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is chances are you got uh, an email with a link to join a particular mural. Um, inside of that email, you would click on the link to load mural. And the first thing that you're gonna notice is that there's gonna be a login prompt. So you can either log in with an existing guest account or a mural account if you have one. Um, otherwise, you can also log in anonymously and still interact with the mural uh, adding content, moving around, participating as you need to. Uh, so in this case, we've been given the anonymous goat. So there's all these like funny animals that you can actually um, participate as. So in our case, we're gonna be entering as anonymous goat. So click enter anonymously and you'll notice that I am the goat. Um, all right, so there's gonna be a couple things I wanna show you. One is how to move around mural. Uh, the second one is how to add some content. And then the third one is um, how to know who else is on Mural so that you can interact with them. So let's first just look at how to move around Mural. Uh, you'll notice Mural is a very large canvas that you can use as a whiteboard or a visual collaboration tool. Um, to move around in it, you'll notice that there's a small mini map on the lower right hand co corner. And in that mini map, you can click on the plus to zoom in to your mural or click on the minus to zoom back out. Uh, you can also enter what's called move mode. In move mode, you click on the hand and this turns your cursor into a hand that allows you to pick up your mural and move around in it. So let's say I wanted to take a better look at these uh, meeting norms up here in the top right hand quadrant. So in our case, I'll click on the plus to zoom in and now I can read the content that's on these post-it notes. Uh, or I can click on the minus button to zoom back out uh, and again just pick up the mural and move around in it. So this allows me to move to the different spots on the mural to add, edit, or view some content. Um, so in our case the next step is I want you to be able to add content. So in our case maybe I want to go ahead and start to add a little bit of a profile um, where it says you know name, your photo on this mural, uh, your role in the organization, so I'm going to interact with this content. I'm going to zoom into it. And I'm also going to uh, exit the move mode. So now I'm going to go back to a regular cursor. Uh, now adding content to Mural is pretty easy. Let's say I wanted to add a photo of myself or an image to the Mural. So I would load up my desktop. I'd click on my documents. I'd go to uh, find my file and just simply drag it onto the Mural. You can see that my photo is now loaded. I can pick up my photo and move around in it. Next, let's say I wanted to add a post-it note. Adding a post-it note is really easy to mural. You just simply double click on the canvas. You'll notice that the post-it note launches and you can start typing into it. I can also make the post-it note larger. If I wanted to change the color of the post-it note, I could do that as well. So you can see adding, editing, uh, and removing content is pretty easy in Mural. Finally, the last step is to understand who else is participating in your Mural. By looking at the bottom of your screen, you'll notice that there's different profiles that show up. These are avatars. If you click on someone's profile, you'll be able to follow them. And so as they're moving around the mural, you can see what they're doing and um, view it from their perspective. Those are all the things that I wanted to show you today. Uh, I hope that you enjoy mural and um, good luck using it. And I'll talk to you soon.